so like I said, I went online and I searched up like get to know me tags or whatever. And there's some questions in here. I won't be answering all of them just because there's way too many questions. But before I get into that, let me conceal my eyelids so I can start my eyelid. Well, I live here in California. Born and raised here. Um, I guess it's nice. It's always sunny. I like the sun. I like summer. I used to not like summer because you no know, one gets so hella freaking hot. But now I like it. Like I want it to be summer already. I want to wear sundresses, shorts, cute um, crop tops, and just like look hot for the summer, I guess. You know, I have a hot girl summer moment again. I didn't have like, much of those moments last summer, so I'm trying to, you know, relive those moments. You know. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, it's nice here. I'm not going to say what city I live in because I feel like that's too much information. Fuck, what did I grab for? But I live here in California, and not in the prettiest city ever. I mean, it's not that bad, I guess. There's some parts of the city that's ugly, but I, it's my home. I call it home. I wouldn't want to live here. But I got nowhere else to go because. Do like a simple everyday um, get ready with me look. I sometimes grab my bronzer and I use it as eyeshadow. You know, something cute, something quick and simple. Or sometimes I just grab like uh, like a brown color from a palette. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> but yeah, I'm planning to make a video where I use this palette for some like glam look. But I don't really know what kind of look I would make, so I have to like study this palette more. I've owned it for about a month already, and I barely dig into it. But I'm trying to get more into colors. There's a few colors in here. But yeah. But I'm most likely just gonna go ahead and put some of this eyeshadow on, just a little bit using like a big fluffy brush and I'll put some eye eyeliner on because I don't want to look, look or feel too naked for my face but yeah. okay next question um, dogs or cats I love both I'm not gonna lie but I do prefer dogs over cats and I'm not saying that I don't like cats you know I do, they're so freaking cute and adorable, like, ah! But I don't know, I'm more of a dog person, I guess. I really love dogs, like, I- So I own two dogs, like I said. Okay, maybe I won't talk. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, I'm more of a dog person than a cat person. I don't know, I just, like, I like both animals, but, like, personally, I I just like dogs more. But cats are, cats are great. They're cute animals. You know, they can be a little vicious at times, but it's okay. You know, dogs can be vicious too. But, you know, they're cute or whatever. But yeah. But anyways, um, I grabbed this shade from my palette from Profusion. I think it's called Mirage. Yeah, it's this shade right here. It's like a brown shade, I can't really see that. But it looks um, orange on camera actually, but it's not orange. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get the shade and apply it on my outer corner of the eye and just work my way. Usually how I just do it every single time. Start from here. And then I work my way in.
And also tea or coffee. Oh, I definitely hate tea. I think it's disgusting. I'm sorry for anyone who loves tea, but I can't handle tea. I don't know why. Like, I can't. It's just nasty in my opinion. Like, just the smell of tea like makes my stomach like ugh. But coffee, I love coffee. But here's the thing. I'm lactose intolerant and I ignore it. <laughs> and which makes my stomach worse because you know it hurts a lot. But I like coffee. I don't drink it as much though. But when I do, my stomach's worse. <laughs> but anyways, and usually I go ahead and grab like a shimmer shade. I love shimmer, so I can't really live without shimmer. So I grabbed this one. Talking about birthdays, like I said, I'm 20 years old. Um, I was born February 22nd, 2000, and I'm a Pisces, so I'm gonna be emotional. Like my emotions can be everywhere. Sometimes, sometimes I can like I get pretty emotional quickly. Like I don't know why. I'm not sure if it's because I'm a Pisces or it's just me but like I can tend to cry easily about anything actually so I'm not sure if I'm the only one like that but I'm pretty sure there's other people who are the same way as me probably not all Pisces are like that I know there's some strong Pisces I wish I were a strong Pisces but I'm not Okay, now to get started, I'm going to apply my foundation. But before I do that, let me answer more questions. There's this question that I think is pretty interesting, well for me. So it says, do you speak any languages and how well? Of course, obviously I can speak English, but I do speak Spanish and I do speak Italian, but I'm not advanced at Italian. I took it in my second semester of college. So I wouldn't say that I'm advanced or like intermediate. I'm still like more of like the beginner. Like what I struggle most is forming sentences because honestly, in my opinion, Italian is hard. Like I thought it'd be easy because you know many people think it's just like Spanish, but it's really not. It's totally different. Yeah, there's some words that sound exactly the same in um, Spanish, but other than that, it's pretty freaking complicated in my opinion. Like, it's a struggle, but I loved it. I love learning like new languages. Like, I want to speak more than just two, you know? Like, speaking two is kind of boring. Like, I want to communicate with more people around the world, you know? So, I still have my Italian book, my, my textbook, so once in a while I'll go back and read it. It's not as much as I wish I'd have time to do, but I really want to better my Italian because I want to be officially trilingual. Like, I want to speak more than two, three, probably four, but maybe for now I'll just stick with three. I can barely speak Spanish, so. Okay, so quickly off camera, I did the other eye. And I applied, and I used this one, the Too Faced Born This Way. Okay. So, yes, like I said, I can speak three languages somewhat. Italian, a little iffy, it's kind of hard. But yeah. I want to get better at it. I do want to visit Italy one day. Hopefully soon. Right now, obviously, probably not because of the whole virus or whatever that's going on. But yeah. Oh, and I am a college student. I'm a full-time student and I do work. I work at a medical clinic. Um, and yeah, this is my... I believe my third semester. No, it was my fourth semester in college, actually. 
I like it. I like college actually. It's fun. Like it's so different from high school. Sometimes I do tend to miss high school, but that's because times were easier, I guess. <laughs> you know, in college you have to do everything on your own and there's really no one there guiding you. And me, myself, being an introvert, I'm like, mm, I'll look for help somehow on my own. But yeah, I really need to get out of my comfort zone. I do have a favorite restaurant and it's called Cancun Juice. It's like a Mexican restaurant. It's really good. I love it. My favorite dish from that restaurant is the three taquitos, which you can get um, chicken or beef, I believe. But I just always oh, choose chicken. I'm not a biggest, I don't eat like meat, like red meats and stuff. I always eat chicken. I get like grossed out. Now there's another question and it says, what's your favorite TV show on Netflix? My favorite show? Well, let me just answer my favorite show ever. Would be Dates Motel. That show is golden in my opinion. I've seen the movie too, like Psycho. It's really good. Like, they made like a show and it's called Dates Motel. And one of the main actors there is Freddie Highmore. I believe that's how his last name is pronounced. Um, he's amazing. I love him. I feel like he doesn't get enough recognition, which I believe he should because he's such an amazing actor. Like, playing a psycho on that show, he went from playing a psycho with like blackouts or killing people to an autistic kid on the show The Good Doctor. Like, he is hella talented and he deserves more recognition. And he's so cute, like, oh my god. Favorite show, I guess, at the moment is probably, um, Grey's Anatomy. I like it. I, I don't know why, but before I got into it, I gave it a shot and I didn't like it for some reason. But then I was like, okay, let me give it another chance. And now I'm kind of obsessed, <laughs> not gonna lie. So once I'm done with that, I always bronze up my face. And of course, my go-to is the Physician Formula Bronzer. And it's in V-Shade Bronzer. <laughs> okay. Now let me go ahead and grab my bronzer brush. I think it's this one from BH Cosmetics. Grab a little bit. Just bronze up my face. my blush Amuse Cosmetics. I need to go out and buy more blush because I need to try more makeup. I've really been wanting to try the um, Milani Cosmetics blush. I forgot what it's called but oh Illuminoso is that what it's called? I don't know but I heard it's good. I think Walgreens is still open. Go ahead and buy some makeup there. And I'm using this um, brush from Amazon. Yeah. Every time I apply my blush, I smile just because they say to smile. I apply on the cheeks, on the what do they what do they say on the apple of your cheeks? Is that what it's called? I don't know. Wow, look at her. She's being a beauty guru. But I'm not a professional because my eyeliner is a little wonky. But yeah. So this is typically how I would do my makeup for an everyday look. I feel like it looks a bit glam, but personally that's just my everyday makeup look for me. 
I, of course, I'm using my Italia eyeliner. I love this liner so much. It was a gift from a best friend from like about three years ago for my 17th birthday, I believe. And I've never stopped using it. But I try not to use it every day. Um, because I don't want to. You no, know, it's probably expired too. <laughs> but I love it so. I know I can buy more, but. But yeah, one of my best friends bought me. Oh my god, I'm like not even in the picture. Oops. One of my best friends, my best friend, she got this as a gift for me for my birthday. And I love it so much. And if you watch my videos, you know who you are. If you remember, because your memory be bad at times. <laughs> okay. So once I'm done with my eyeliner, I usually go ahead and spritz my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, okay. So I use this one. I use the, the small size because I wasn't gonna pay 32 bucks for the big one. And it's not like um, I wear makeup like 24 seven because there are days where I don't wear makeup. Um, highlight because I can't not get over highlight. It will always be a thing that I must do just because highlight, I love it. My beach cosmetics palette. I like palette palettes. It's called Wild and Radiant. I've owned this for a while now. Probably expired. It works fine. Works like a gem. Just apply it right here. And this highlight is not as as not as strong, but it's okay. A little bit on my nose. Let's see. Have you been to any concerts or festivals? Like music festivals? I have not been to any music festivals. I really want to go to one. Like so bad. This year was supposed to be the year where I go and like have fun at music festivals but I'm not sure where things will go because like I said um, the coronavirus is here and affecting many people so you know every place is closed we have to keep our distance from people I understand because so how else will we get rid of this virus? But I've been to concerts only two in my lifetime. I've been to the first concert ever was I saw Osuna, one of my best friends. It was amazing. I loved it. Although he did take forever to start the show, I'm not sure why. But I really enjoyed it. He's like one of my favorite artists. And my second concert, I saw was a year after so I, I saw Osuna 2018 around November and then 2019 I went again with my best friend um, and we saw Chris Brown it was really I really enjoyed it like he is amazing he sings so well he performs really well like he dances so amazing in my opinion like he's cool and future artists I want to see is Bad Bunny for sure like Bad Bunny he's awesome he's amazing He's like one of my favorites too. And other artists, I'm not sure who else I would want to see. Maybe Daddy Yankee, he's awesome too. 
some that's not in like the reggaeton genre. Um, hmm. There's some artists that I like, but I feel like they're not well known. There's this artist called Jeremy Zucker. I that's his last name. I think that's how his last name is pronounced, but he is amazing. His music is more like on the chill side. Like I would like to see him. I like his music. Um, Black Bear for sure. I love his music. I listen to a lot of artists, but I listen to a lot of songs, but I don't really know the name of the artist, and I just like replay it, replay it. Like my music taste is kind of everywhere. I like a little bit of everything, but country. I'm not a big fan of country at all. Nope. But yeah. I've only been to two concerts, so and I really want to go to more. Ozuna was actually gonna come again here in Anaheim. It's not where I live though. I live close to Anaheim. But with the virus, I'm pretty sure it got postponed or canceled. I'm not really sure. But yeah. If you are going out with your friends, describe your night. Wild. Crazy. Might get arrested. Literally. I'm like quiet, right? People see me as a quiet, shy girl, but when I went out with my friends, that girl is no longer shy and quiet. She's crazy. You know, like everything comes out. So I'm like, other people see me as like the shy, quiet, innocent girl, but my friends think otherwise. And I personally think that I'm outgoing once you get to know me. Because at first I'm like, I can be shy around people I don't I don't know. But if I get if I feel comfortable around you, then I guess I'll start showing more of my personality and be more outgoing. But if I don't feel that vibe coming from you, I, I'm just like, I'm gonna stay quiet. Anyways. So yeah, this is pretty much it. My everyday makeup. There's one that um, that says, what is your favorite, who is your favorite YouTuber? Um, I don't really have one, to be honest. I kind of watch everyone. But like one of my favorite beauty gurus, like ever, like when I first started getting into makeup. I have a couple. It's Myra Touch of Glam, Beauty Bird, um, Ta Tanya's Makeup. Else? I like Jeffree Star for sure. I watch more people. Oh, her name is... Not Laura Lee. I'm not a big fan of her at all, actually. It's some other girl. Her name is Laura. I don't think she's well known. Um, her name is Laura Leth. She is... Um, I think she's Swedish. I don't remember. But yeah, I used to watch her videos like a lot. I still do, but not as much as I used to before because I mean I used to be so obsessed with makeup videos when I was much like, younger. Not not I'm still pretty young. But like when I was in high school I was obsessed. But now that I kinda know how to do my makeup and I'm like, okay, I think I can like pretty much do this on my own. But I still watch her videos once in a while. Like they're one of my favorite um beauty gurus in my like I love them. They're awesome. Um, oh, I used to watch Mikey. She does like beauty and gore makeup. Like she is good at her work. Mm -hmm. She's amazing. But yeah. So I'm gonna pretty much end the video here. I feel like I did a lot of talking, and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, this is my everyday makeup look. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, please let me know what you want to see because I don't know what to do. Like, would you like to see a colorful look? Would you like to see my eyebrow uh, routine or like how I fill in my eyebrows? I don't have a skincare routine. I literally just wash my face using the um, the brand. I think it's called African Soap. I, I don't remember. But I use that one and I love it. And I use this just to moisturize my face. It's the Aveeno. Active Naturals, Positively Radiant. It has um, SPF of 30, so that's not bad. 
and you always have to wear your sunblock, protect your face. But yeah. Um, or if you prefer me doing videos like these where I'm talking, then yeah, let me know. Um, I guess I'll link down my my Instagram. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really. I mean, I'm active on there, but I don't post as much. I'm trying to get like a makeup page going on, but I don't know how to start. I'm kind of confused and lost. But yeah. Yeah. But thank you for watching, and I'll post more videos. I have to find more days where I can record because it's kind of hard. You know, I have online classes and I have to go to work. So when Saturdays, not Saturdays, Sundays are actually my is my only day that I can record because I don't work Sundays. I work Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and, Sat and Saturdays. Wednesdays, I have school in the morning and the evening. I can probably find like some time to record like in the afternoon. And sometimes I get lazy, I'm not gonna lie. And it's kind of hard, but yes. I'll be recording more videos. But anyways, so let's do like one last time. Alright, bye you guys.